We are at the city of Sebastia or Samaria or in Hebrew Shomron. Um, that's the entrance to the city. You can see the columns on both sides. Um, it actually started as a flat area when Omri, one of the kings of Israel, decided to build a new capital. Uh, I'm talking about, let's say, we know uh, King Solomon. And King Solomon didn't agree that um, to help, uh, he didn't agree to, he actually didn't help the people of Israel, which is the 10 uh, tribes of north of Israel, that ask him, please give us less, less taxes. We are starving. And when King Solomon say no, um, uh, after him, the um, the city will split into two. Then, after the days of King Solomon, then um, the northern northern part of Israel became the ten tribes of Israel in Samaria. In Samaria. And um, Omri, the father of Ahab, um, is there. Look at the soldiers here. Uh, this is one of the places that are you cannot enter without the army. It's in the in the Palestinian city. It's in center of the Palestinian city. You can even see the flag of Palestine here. And um, Omri decided to build a new city. At that time, it was like a fashion to build new cities, uh, new capitals, because you can actually design it, uh, you can build it exactly like you wanted to build it, and the model was the Assyrian uh, cities. Then we will enter soon to a city, but look at the, look at the beautiful view of the mountains of Samaria. Alexander Mugdon, came to here mainly because the Samaritans were against it. And he actually mentioned that he exiled around 30,000 habitats. Then you can understand how big was the city. And if you look from here, then down there, you can see the columns. Here they are. And the almost flat area there is a um, stadium or even hippodrome. Then the wall was there, and you can understand how big was the city. We are talking about twice bigger than Jerusalem. Twice bigger than Jerusalem. It will be difficult to hear me. I'm not using headsets because I forgot it. But you can see two main public places. The first one is the basilic, but I'm not talking about a church. I'm talking about a public basilic. And um, you can see that, you can see the columns. If it's white, it means that it was in the ground. And if it's brown, it was above the ground. Then you can understand that it's been excavated. And you can see the apses there. But those columns, the nearest one are uh, part of uh, the forum that you can find in every Roman city but it's only started uh, here <coughs> and and that right there actually the big flag the small flag is there and now it's a parking place the one who built that parking place was um, uh, Jordan that occupied that place in 1948 uh, and uh, then if we will excavate it we will find the rest of the uh, forum but we won't be able to do that you see the flag and there are too many problems here because although it's, it belongs to Israel and Palestine together area B uh, still, we cannot uh, do that. The noise comes from the Palestinian 
groups here that enjoy the ride of uh, the camels. And of course, everything that we see here, the Forum and the Basilic are from the time of King Herod and up. There, when you see the, that building, that was the uh, consul city, they used to charge, uh, um, charge uh, people there, Boletorion, the Boule, and um, it's beautiful, isn't it? We are still in Sebastian, remember the city that uh, was built by King Herod, and we are on the way to see the city of Samaria, Shomron, that Omri uh, built. You can see it from a different angle. Now I'm at the north part. The entrance was from the south part. And look at the apps right in front of you. Yeah, yes. And the ball aid, auditorium, the council area when all the important people who control the city actually been was uh, in that area and I'm climbing up it looks like a lemon tree and you can see olive trees all around you, almond tree is right here. And we're going to the theater, and it's such an amazing one. Still from the time of King Herod. We'll talk about it soon, but just enjoy it. But you can see where the sun is, then the best place to do that is at the northern part of, of, uh, of uh, the city. Then what you can see here is only the lower part of the seats, first cavia, something like 900 people can sit here and no one actually renovated it, they found it like that. The other one was above, and we are talking about let's say 2,500 people, but you can see two walls here, the, the, low, the upper one is of Omri. Uh, and the lower one, it's actually two walls, and that is of um, Ahab, is a uh, is, uh, son. We are standing on the stage, and you can see here the columns from granite that uh, came from uh, Rome. And the scanophones, the low, the, the rare part of the stage you can see the stones here but no one touched it yet then we are going to show you something special but let me take another picture of the place olive trees a lot of garbage not by the israelis we are entering now to the place that usually tourists are not allowed to do. But we are not tourists. You are not tourists as well now. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Someone robbed that area, but we found here because of it, 
a water system. Yeah, yeah, before the, the theater, of course, for the Roman theater. This is a column that called Proto Olio. It's difficult to see it like that, but um, it might be or the base of a column or above the column, the capital. Uh, two of them you can find in Britain. One in um, uh, Rockefeller Museum, and another one in our president uh, house. Remember, we are actually uh, at the first caveat, the lower one, the upper one was right there. Then you have to imagine it. Here you can see beautifully two kinds of walls. That is from time of Ahab, 9th century BC. There's another wall there, actually three walls here, and I will talk about it soon. But to the left, you can see a round tower. This is from the time of Alexander Mugdon, Greek, Hellenistic time. And you can see the differences with the stones as well. And at that time, when Alexander Mugdon conquered that place, he call that place uh, Samaria and the upper wait 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 I don't want to fall the upper uh, caviar the upper seats were used by King Herod right here that you couldn't see it at the time of King Herod at King Herod time it called Sebastus um, you can see the walls, I'm leaving the walls, but let me talk about what Omri and Ahab did. Um, it was a round hill, and just like King Herod that wanted to build that Temple Mount and wanted to build it as big as he could, they built walls around it to create a plaza. And those are the walls of that plaza. Then he create kind of a square place. Yes, this Cilanti. is Moti. Yeah, I took a picture of you, Moti. And now I cannot. We're climbing up. You can see the ancient stairs. It looks like easier to walk through there. All right, you got the message. You will see me soon. The city of Shomuron is mentioned 17 times in the Bible. Uh, most of the places, and I will try to find a quiet place, more or, most of the places are mentioned in a negative place, a negative way. Why? Because we know that Ahab and Isabel, his wife, were here and not, according to the Jewish way, they had here lots of pagan temples. One of the stories mentioned in the book of, uh, um, I think, Kings uh, 2, uh, Elijah. Elijah was there, and uh, Ahaziah, son of one of the sons of Ahab, controlled Samaria, Samaria Shomron, and he wanted to know what will be the end of him, and then he asked his servants to go to one of the um, uh, false prophet to ask it. The uh, servant met Elijah, that was right there. And there's a monastery, ancient monastery. Nothing was uh, remains from that, but there was a monastery there. Then he asked Elijah. Elijah told him, "Go to your king and tell him that he will die in his bed." Um, the king was amazed from it. He asked, who did it? And uh, uh, the servant said, a man with long hair that were only you know, shorts to cover is, you know what, just like John the Baptist. And uh, then he sent him 
they sent to him 50 servants that Elijah burned down. He sent him another 50, he burned it, burned them down. And the third time, the leader of the servants begged Elijah at that bed, begged Elijah not to uh, kill them. And he met the king. He warned the king from using uh, pagan prophets. The king didn't listen to him and he died on his bed. Elijah is the prefiguration of John the Baptist. And it's not wonder that there is a beautiful uh, churches here that mention John the Baptist in Samaria. And we're climbing up to the top of the tail. Remember, he flattered it. it I'm talking about Omri and Ahab to create a big city, a new modern city, Roman style city. It's not easy to understand, but here, beneath it, you can find um, a palace of, uh, of Ahab that we know the, through the Bible that he was decorated with, with a lot of ivory and some of the ivory was found. We excavated that place, but we had to um, um, cover it. Then you cannot see a lot of it. Here, it's another part of Ahab. Um, uh, Ahab a palace, but on top of it, King Herod, in that matter, not King Ahab, built uh, um, um, the temple to Augustus, Sebastus. Then, you can see the stairs, and there was a flat yard of at least 100 meters. And it been destroyed uh, on an earthquake. earthquake. Then you can see that the marbles, the capitals actually fell down, turned around. It's like a big, uh, a big temple, almost in the highest place of it. What you see here, the small hill, is uh, the part of the excavation of the temple. They had to cover it, but I don't know why uh, they couldn't do that. That, that's why we can see, can see the palace. Sorry, the temple of Augustus, Octavianus, Sebastus. Before King Herod, they used water by water systems and some springs. But when King Herod uh, came, he built an aqueduct from the here of Shem to here. Let's continue the tour. And I didn't mention it yet. Um, if uh, you like that video and you want to see another almost 20,000 videos, please subscribe my channel. And if you do have some questions, please don't hesitate. Ask me. You can use um, my Instagram, professional Instagram, and you can use my professional Facebook. Um, there's no reason to use the other one because it's... Um, it's in Hebrew. Then look for Zahi Shaked, Israeli tour guide. And you can ask me via uh, YouTube. I will try to answer every question. A little bit slippery. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful is the view. And I, again, lots of olive trees. Samaria, until today, is the biggest of olive trees um, factories in Israel and in Palestine, whatever you would choose. Uh, sadly, you won't see a lot of vineyards here. There used to be a lot of vineyards in that area, but because it's mostly Muslim place and wine and Muslims doesn't go together, uh, then there's no vineyards here. 
According to some scholars, right there, wait, see where I'm pointing? There are two caves and they found two tombs there. Maybe the tomb of King Heichav and Omri, his father, right there. Because we know that the king used to be buried beneath their palaces, at the palaces. Later on, King Herod built that place. And look at that beautiful place. One of the theory is about the vineyard of Nevot from Israel Valley. Then it might be that there is one wall here of that is temple and later on they found let's say another 100 meters there another wall and they uh, and in between it was at the beginning kind of a agriculture area then they they I think I mean uh, the scholar actually one a few of the scholars uh, believes that uh, Navot vineyard was here because it says that he had a vineyard in Shomron and we are here and King um, Ahab, um, or uh, well, let's say his evil, his wife, um, went to, went to, uh, <coughs> to Israel and blame him from cursing God. And he was killed there. And then she said to Ahab, oh, it's yours. You can take it. Then in that case, it might be there too, but some scholars believe that it was in, uh, in Israel. Well, two options, two options. Uh, the funny thing is that, <clears throat> that King Hechem asked uh, Navot from Israel Valley, uh, please give me your vineyard and I will give you a better one in a different place. And Navot didn't want that, didn't want it. Then he went back to Israel which remembered his palace was there and told her what Nevat said and his devil actually said ah, are you a king? come on you're a king you can do whatever you want and the rest is well known Nevat vineyard is it beautiful or not? it is הוא יכול לדבר, אנחנו שומעים אותו. A church! Beautiful church. I know that it might be a little bit difficult to listen because he's used to the speaker, but it, this is so important for so many people who love John the Baptist. You can see here a church, a Byzantine church, with two apps right there and there. And according to some of the traditions, uh, the ceremony of um, or the dance party with the scarf, service guests were right here with Solomon and uh, King Herod and Tipas, and his head, John the Baptist's head, was buried there in that chapel. And his body is buried in a mosque now. It used to be another church, but the Muslim turned it into a mosque. You can see here the nave and the two corridors to the right. And to the left, you can see that this is a special chapel. Yes, I know that there is another tradition of Mihvar, another place now uh, that King Herod built in, Hev in, in Jordan of today. Uh, I was there as well. Then two traditions. And uh, you can see the narthex of the church and a water system right here. And we must leave. The army asked us to leave that place. 
Uh, here you can see some tombs of Christians from that area. Uh, the tombs have been destroyed every time, every year, by the local Muslims here, which is a little bit sad. But they are renovating it. Then another important tradition of of uh, John the Baptist. We know, remember the story of uh, of um, Elijah, which was he was right there. Then Elijah is a prefiguration of um, John the Baptist in a way. And that was the church that we just climb up quickly for the soldier would kick me out. Want you to see it from here. This is the reason I came because one of my subscribers asked me to visit that place. It's difficult to be here alone. It's not an easy place to visit. Then, oops, I took an organized tour of one of the professors, actually, the, yeah, uh, and here I am doing it for you. Let me show you where is the body of John the Baptist is buried. Sadly, I cannot go there. It's a Palestinian village and it's a mosque. They won't let non-Christians, non-Muslims visit that place and it's you know what? I believe them. It's there. Today, the body is under a mosque and not a church. There used to be a church. The view is amazing, isn't it? We are at Samaria, uh, the city that was built by King uh, Omri and Ahab. And... Um, was the capital of Israel, remember the 10 tribes, till the end. And later on, everyone used it, that's surreal. Uh, uh, Samaritans who have been here, um, the Romans, the Greek, Alexander Mogdon was here. Then this is the village, the Muslim village and the mosque there's someone there. I don't know if you can see the minaret. Yes, I think you can see it. Then the body of John the Baptist, according to them, he's there. Look at the bloom. Beautiful flowers and olive trees. I hope that you enjoyed it. It's not the end, but it's almost the end of the video. Oh, yeah, 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 I knew what I wanted to say. When we took the bus, uh, we saw one of the main streets from south, uh, sorry, east to west. It's called the Camanos, with a lot of columns. Uh, but the... Uh, Oh, I do oh, not. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't think. <laughs> Set off. <laughs> and um, we did it through the bus. We couldn't stop there. Uh, then you will hear the Hebrew. Uh, I will add it to the end of the video. You will hear the tour guide in Hebrew. But what he actually is saying is that this is the main street with the columns. And you will see a wall there. Um, this is part of King Herod wall as well. Then you will see, I think, even towers. Uh, then we made a round tour. You can see here, oh, look at the camel. You can see even the camel here. And you can see the basilic, public basilic, not a church and the beginning of the forum and our buses are on top of the forum remember it was uh, covered by the Jordanians and by law we cannot we cannot uh, excavate it then sadly it will be like that until we will find another solution oh look at that the 
Look at the baby Carmel. Uh, no, he looks like his mother. Yes, he is mother. And a wall from the Israeli time. Ahab, Omri. On top of it, you can see the uh, basilic and the form, the beginning of the form. Um, as you can see, it's only, uh, to visit here, it's only on Wednesday and uh, the army takes everyone together and we must live together. I'm just going to... <laughs> Why do you have It doesn't let us use the WC. רואים שני מגדלים עגולים בכניסה אל העיר, מגדל אחד מצד שמאל ומגדל אחד עגול מצד ימין, אלה הם מגדלי הכניסה אל העיר, ומיד אחרי הכניסה התחיל רחוב עמודים, כן, באורך של כקילומטר, הרחוב עצמו נמצא משמאלנו, זאת אומרת מטה הזיתים נטוע ברחוב, צורת עמודים אחת ממש צמודה אלינו, וצורת עמודים שנייה נמצאת בין העצים מצד שמאל, שימו לב בין העצים מצד שמאל, אל תרוץ כל כך בין העצים מצד שמאל ישנם עמודים של מעשה, כן, שורת העמודים המקבילה ורוחב רחוב של כ-12 מטר ובין העמודים היו כמובן חנויות, כן, כמקובל ברחוב כזה שהוא ליבה של העיר. אז למרות שאנחנו קוראים לזה קרדו, יש בה איזה בעיה כי הרחוב הוא רחוב מזרח מערב אבל אין רחוב אחר, אין פה דקומנוס אחר, כן, אז אנחנו, אפשר לומר שאנחנו בקרדו מבחינת הלב של העיר, כן, קרדיולוג, כן, מבחינת הלב של העיר, ובמקרה הזה רחוב מזרח מערב. מהרחוב עצמו היו אה, מעין מדרגות שעלו אל האזור העליון, פה מצד שמאל, אתם תראו מיד גרם מדרגות מאוד מרשים, שאגב נחפר על ידי זאב יבין, שציינתי אותו קודם, כן, אנחנו מתקרבים עכשיו לגרם המדרגות מצד שמאל, אתם יכולים לראות אותו, כן, יבין חפר פה גרם מדרגות שעלה מהרחוב למעלה, כן, אל הפורום, חלק העליון, וכאן הכפר סבסטיה מצד ימין, שחלק גדול מבתי הכפר למעשה נמצאים על, או בנויים על בתים מהתקופה ההרודיאנית-רומית. נוכל לראות